Hey guys, today I'll be talking about and showing you two builds that I've made. It's been a long time since I've shown you a build. It's been mostly actually just building. I know it's been a long time since since I've done a showing with you. But today's the day. And yeah, so here we have a a tank bot and a vehicle but before we can go into detail i have to tell you something on our channel we don't just do lego building videos we do connects building videos beyblade videos we also have another channel it's called Passertube gaming we do gaming videos such as minecraft cop and rubber roblox balloons tv battles vampire of rome among us stick war legacy stick war legacy 3 Balloons TV Battles 2, Balloons TV Battles 6, and Pixel Gun Movie. And also I missed one. I don't do it anymore. Castle Crush. That was a very long list. But when I play it, there's not that much. But anyway. Um, so first I'm going to talk about this one because it's got less details than this monster. Um... But, I mean, it's cool, it's very cool, and the, the main play feature, and mostly the only play feature with both of them, are their cannons at the top. This one, they can go up and down. Very cool. And it has a little face at the top. But here's the thing. If you take the roof off, it's just a hollow space. You can place a minifigure inside. You just have to take these out. But I don't want to put a minifigure in because it's going to be an absolute mess. Everything's going to break. Because I didn't actually design it, but I realized that it was a hollow space. That actually could fit a minifigure inside. I mean, the back doesn't have much detail, but it's still a very cool little robot to have. Yeah. Moving on to what's basically the main thing about this video is this vehicle. So, this vehicle has a cannon on top that can go. 360 up and down so basically this cannon is 100 percent better than the other one because it can also go 360 up and down the thing about this one it's it's made you can it was, it's made for putting a minifigure inside and yeah, a cool little play feature about this, it's not actually, you can't actually do it, but it's a little like fun feature. If you can see this flap, I made it so it's like a little hatchet inside, so a minifigure can like, you can pretend a minifigure is looking outside. Um, and this is just for design, I didn't actually use it for anything. And at the front, we have a, a lot of lights actually and when I first started building it <clears throat> three months ago um, very long time ago compared to wh when I should have made the video but anyway when I started building this I thought of making it into a zombie apocalypse vehicle and the way I re remembered it is because of this front bit here not not because of the cannon because usually i love my guns um yeah so this bit is like a little rammer so if your vehicle didn't have like a cannon on top you can ram the zombies so it's basically like an automatic sword or an automatic shovel because you're basically whacking the zombies Except just with more force. You're not literally whacking them. You're just ramming them. So yeah. And I also put two spikes here. For design. I did first. Um, 
make a truck using this but there was like you had to push two buttons inside and then these spikes would come up sadly it was a failure and i couldn't finish it so for a reminder i put these spikes here i kind of wish i made this vehicle a bit bigger because as you can see it kind of looks like a four uh, like a a four-wheel drive which usually carries um like at least six seven people in real life the big ones i mean this is quite big but sadly it only is made for one minifigure but you can still put extra minifigures some other places as well now to the back um, so it's very detailed as you can see and well there's no backstory for the back of the vehicle it's just a normal design yeah and now going on to the sides we have little spikes and these spikes are like little stairs and weapons and design if you're wondering why it's this color this is like supposed to be a bull face this is the bull and these are like the horns but it doesn't really look like one but here's the little funny thing as you can see that it has like a little bit at there that makes it look like it's filled but if you look to the bottom it's quite hollow actually yes it is quite hollow So, and I didn't really talk much about the back. Um, but yeah, it has an exhaust pipe and the colour is different. Because on camera you might see it a bit, I mean on TV or phone or tablet or computer, it might look different. But I can see it clearly. The, the exhaust pipes are gunmetal grey, as Lego calls the colour. And the rest of the back is trans red, which is translucent, which is basically like see-through. Then there's red. So yeah. Now we have the wheels, the big Chungus wheels. Um, they're very big, um, and yeah. There's not much to talk about them. And now we're just going to compare them size comparison and weight comparison if it was real life of course this would be a ton heavier but if you think about it a car isn't all metal but this it might be smaller but it's the whole nearly everything is metal it's just the wheels that are not and the, the eyes of the thing. So, yeah. So, if you think about it, this actually could be heavier than this. But in real life comparison, if I held these two, this is way heavier. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye, guys.